Alright guys, hey, how's it going? Hey, we're going to do a real quick review, or a real quick installation video on how to do this. My brother got a fill nipple cover, and he wants to put it on, so I'm going to do it for him. Go ahead and... Yay! Okay. Yay! Why don't you read the back of the instructions while I... Okay. No, don't do it. I'm going to show you guys. Alright, what you want to first do is make sure that your tank is 100% completely drained okay I know it is for a fact because I just put it on an ASA and just leaked it all out and if you hear you can hear the pin valve rattling and I could put my finger down and I could push that pin down if there's any pressure in there you won't be able to do that so that's a hunt you have to make sure that you do that you have to make sure that this gauge don't just believe the gauge. Make sure that there's absolutely no air in there because this thing can hurt you if you do this with pressure in the tank. Okay? All right. So, <laughs> we're going to put the fill nipple cover on. And what you're going to do is you're going to remove your fill nipple. I've got my special tool. It's for regulators and it's so shiny. It's got... <laughs> Should I take this out? Yeah, take it out so that we save some time. Um, <laughs> this is a, t a removal tool for... Um, uh, tanks and all that stuff, but you you know I could use it for um, other stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, use my my tool, my gauge, and on uh, Ninja regulators. Okay, this the Ninja tank. This fill nipple is uh, gonna be too small to put the the collar on. It'll let it come off. So you don't unscrew this. You're gonna put it on one of the burst discs. Okay, so as you can see. This one is the high pressure one, the 7.5K, and I'm going to use my little reg tool. And you could use a crescent wrench or whatever you want, um, but because I have this, I'm going to be fancy and use it. You could also use a regular crescent wrench, but it's going to be on there kind of tight. So the first crack is, you know, you're just going to have to push on it just a little bit. Unscrew that. Take your little leash, and what we're going to do is we're going to put the burst disc on right there, thread it through there, and just seat it right back in. Start screwing it in until it starts to tighten up. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. tired now. Yeah, it's so hard doing this stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, then he never heard me. But. Yes, it probably did. But you go ahead and I'm using the wrong side on that. <laughs> but go ahead and get that on there, and just give it a little tight. You don't need to kill it. Just kind of three fingers tight on there. Make sure you don't cross thread it. And now your collar is secure on there. And then when you go to put this on your fill nipple, it just clamps right on. So now you won't get any dirt or grime in there. And you'll your tank and your regulator will last a lot longer. Okay? So that was a quick video. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching and I hope that helps you out. Talk to you later.